What's going on guys? Now the two biggest hitting flaws with kids when they're hitting is either casting or bat drag. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain how to fix those because there's usually one thing that causes both those issues. And then I'm gonna give you four drills on how to fix it. So first let's explain what casting is. Now casting is when the player goes to swing and their hands go out and they get disconnected from their body with their elbow and disconnected from the barrel to their shoulder. Almost like they're casting a fishing rod, right? That creates a really long loopy swing, which is one of the biggest hitting flaws that players have. The second biggest hitting flaw is bat drag. Now what bat drag is, is when the player swings and you start to see this lead elbow this back elbow, sorry, start to drag the bat along. So you see this back elbow ahead of this hand. And when you do this, you lose all barrel control, you lose all bat speed. You're just kind of dragging the bat through the zone. Now those are the two biggest hitting flaws when it comes to the upper body. And usually there's one movement that causes both of those. And what that movement is, is usually when players borrow this arm. Okay, when they're going to swing, when they load, they push their hands back and they bar this arm. So what that does is one, it causes their hands to get disconnected from their body and that's gonna start the cast. And it also pushes their hands ahead of behind this elbow and that causes the bat drag. So when you see players with either casting or bat drag, it's usually because they're pushing this arm back. Now to the dads out there, before you get on me about the MLB players who have an arm bar like Acuna or Griffey. We're talking about kids here. We're not talking about the best hitters in the world. So the first show we're gonna to do to help fix your arm bar, which is causing the casting or the bat drag, is we're gonna need a band like this. You can get them on Amazon. They're just cheap little booty bands. They're super cheap, I'll link them below. So you're gonna put the band around your elbow like that, and then you're gonna hold it like that. So it looks like that. Then we're gonna put the bat in your hands, and we're gonna get into our batting stance. Now. If the player swings and they bar their arm, what happens? The band falls off, right? So what we wanna do is have the band stay on until contact. Okay, so basically we wanna hold this position through our turn. So as we come through our turn, after launch position, we're coming through, front arm works up, back arm works down, barrel stays tight to the shoulder. And then at contact, then we go through and that's when it can fall off. So for the drill, all we're going to do is we're going to start off in launch position. We're going to put the band around our front elbow, up around our hand like that, and we're going to hold it. And we're just going to pause that contact. Okay, so we're already in launch position. All we're going to do is turn and pause that contact. Just like that. Make sure that this band stays on. After we do a few reps from launch position, we're going to do a few to contact and we're going to start from our batting stance. Okay, so we're going to start from here. We're going to load and we're going to hit it and we're going to pause the contact again. Again, when we load, this is where the biggest issue is, is when players will bar their arm. So if you feel the band fall off before you get to contact, you know you're doing it wrong. And then after you've done a few reps of that, we're gonna do full swings. Again, we're gonna make sure this band stays on until after contact. Now the next drill is just gonna be a top hand isolation drill. So we're gonna start off in launch position. I'm using the split grip bat from split grip and we're just gonna hold it and we're gonna make sure that we keep this angle of our bicep, our forearm and our bat all the way to contact. Okay, so we're gonna start off in launch position again and we're just gonna go through our turn, make sure this front arm works up, pause at contact. What we want to avoid is again, barring that arm out and we also don't wanna come down with our front elbow. We wanna start from here, hold this angle, work up, barrel stays tight to the shoulder, extension through. So do a few reps where you pause at contact and do a few reps where you extend through. Now for the next drill, we're gonna get a connection ball. Okay, we're gonna get into our batting stance. We're gonna put it in between our forearm and our chest like that. And we're gonna think about kind of putting a little bit of pressure towards our chest. And when we load, that's when usually we're gonna bar our arm. We wanna make sure we keep pressure on this ball. If we load and we start to feel the ball roll, we know that we're barring that arm. So we wanna load and make sure that we keep it in this position with a little bit of pressure. Now for the last show, we're gonna use this little contraption that you may have seen making its round on the internet. I made a video about this and how to make one. So I'll link that video below. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a 90 degree angle with the two pipes and you're gonna hold it. And you wanna make sure that your elbows or your forearms stay tight to these pipes. 
Then we're just gonna do some dry hacks through our turn. We're not gonna do full swings, we're just gonna go through our turn. So just like this, we're gonna load, and as we load, make sure that we're not pushing that bar out, or that hand out, making sure that this stays connected to our elbow. We're gonna pause, at launch position, then we're gonna turn. Okay, again, making sure that we keep these angles on our arm. We're only gonna go this far, just like that. Making sure that we don't get out like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you next week. And then you're gonna grab the bat and you're just gonna hold it.